Okay, so during my one of my last video, I was actually running along the uh, MRT line uh, along Rachada Pise, yeah, the road. So I actually chanced upon the train market because I was too early. So I did say that yeah, I'm going to head to the uh, train market prior to the so-called lockdown. And today is a Saturday, and it's on the uh, 10th of July, and the lockdown will be actually on the. 12th of July. Okay, so I still have a time to, to go. So actually, this is near my place. I'm actually at Pier E2. Okay, because it's faster to actually take the uh, boat to also site, and then from there I can take the MRT Pachaburi station and goes down to Thai Cultural Centre. Okay, so I was waiting here for a while, and uh, so there's a guy that actually asked me about something. Hey, is the boat operational or not? But I told him that I don't really quite understand and then he pointed to me this label over here, alright? And he said that yeah, the boat is actually not in operation today. So waited here for about almost 10 minutes and yeah. <laughs> so I have to go and take the train. <laughs> ah <laughs> that's the thing. Well I mean I can speak and listen a little but yeah in terms of reading it I'm still learning okay so let's take the um, BTS and then uh, from there we will change at the Ashok BTS station to Sukhumvik ah what a 10 minute waste but thanks to that guy he really left <laughs> okay so I'm at this uh, BTS station Punchit and heading towards uh, Acho because in order to go to the train market I have to take the MRT station two stations to Acho Alright, we have reached Acho station just two stations from Lunchi and in order to change to the um, MRT station I have to get out of the station goes down to the um, underground because MRT is actually underground okay. if I were to take the boat it's actually much faster because from my place then to walk to the BTS station is about 800 meters but the boat station is actually just below the place that I stayed okay the rabbit car value card then yep then and I'm out of the station and just follow the sign it says MRT Sukhumvik station pretty easy actually can be a little bit confusing if you don't know which one to exit because basically in a BTS there's actually two exits okay, you go through this machine but apparently it doesn't sound off okay, I'm actually inside the station so all the stations we will have all this temperature check and as well as Sanitizer. And this is Sukhumvik station. And we are actually heading towards uh, Thai Cultural Center. Okay, so yeah, you can actually see from the map. I used to take the wrong, wrong, wrong side because when you see the train, you just run and then just enter and then realize you are in the wrong direction. So look out for the map and make sure that you are on the correct 
direction. So it's about one, two, three station away. Okay, the train is here. It's pretty fast. Waited for probably about two minutes before the train arrived and we have got three stations to go. will take probably about five minutes or so, I guess. Uh, I guess actually on the third station, so let's see that. Right, we've reached the Thailand Cultural Culture. Center Station. Yep. Please right. mind the gap between train and platform. Blue Line 1919, all right. Thailand Cultural Center. Really big station, but one thing quite funny is that you see the, uh, the platform is actually quite long, okay, but the train don't cover the entire length. It's probably about two thirds. All right, so front there's a couple. We don't wait at the front. I used to wait at the front, all right, thinking because there might be more space and sit. No, I was waiting at the front, and then the train didn't stop there, so I have to run all the way to the middle. Okay, so they are same as the BTS as well. They have a very long platform, but the train is... <laughs> okay, so we just need to check which exit to go. There's actually exit 1, 2, 3, and 4. Just follow the people. So I was running along this um, area, along Pachada Pasir Road where the MRT line is so I think this is the there's a mall right just beside the just in front of the uh, train night market and I guess this time we should have just follow the people I guess just follow them it shouldn't be I go wrong man. okay let's see I'm not too sure because once you exit so might not be able to get out. I'm not saying you have to go one round. Okay, so yeah. Okay, number three. Okay, so there's a mall called Esplanade. Okay, as you can see the map here it says train night market. So the nearest exit is actually number three. So number three is over there. So let's go to number three. Luckily I didn't follow that. Okay, so let's heading towards um, yep, exit number three. So the fare is actually 21 baht from Sukhumvit, so three station, and the uh, BTS was I think about 20 baht if I'm not wrong. So all in all, for overall 41 baht just to come here. Okay, there's a metro mall. The metro is like yeah this subway and exit 3 is also the same as the embassy of china okay and this is my second time here actually in uh, many years back when this train night market was quite popular okay you can see a lot of people lining around this train station packing their stuff because you know tourists basically okay buying things lots of plastic bags waiting you know because it's hot come in to do you know to enjoy the aircon and yeah I say big bag small bag packing them in the one bag and yep this is exit three so I was running along here the other time and that's how I remember and chance upon yeah this train market and as I was early I said uh, when I was running so the train market wasn't open and I can see the uh, signboard that says they open from uh, 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. But due to the curfew, I think uh, the restriction, I don't think they can actually close at 1 a.m. now. All right, but of course, like I say, um, on Monday onwards, all right, on the 14th of July, okay, um, yeah, the, uh, this market will not be allowed to open anymore. So. I'm just thinking that before you know the restriction law kicks in, I might just want to you know check out this place. 
So what? Well, by the time you're watching this, yeah, I think the restriction law already been imposed. Okay, but I'm not too sure whether they will be open. But based on the signboard, say yes. But again, because yeah, there are not too many people actually. Nobody is actually you know coming and mainly are the tourists. A lot of Chinese tourists over here. So I'm just walking towards there. Okay, a signboard that says open daily, Monday to Sunday, 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. The signboard behind me. All right, that says the opening hours. Okay, so this is the mall, smart mall, beside me. Okay, and apparently it seems like it's not open. Or is it open? Just it's too quiet. The other time when I came in, yep, I run here. Yeah. I just see all this shop and stores that are still here. But they are not open because maybe I was too early. Okay, but you can see again. Ta da! Close. Nothing is open. Okay, too bad. Nothing is open. Okay, or oh, am I too early? No. It's actually 5.57 right now. And, yeah, nothing is open. See, used to have a lot of stores over here, the food stuff. Okay, yeah. Sadly, it's closed. Apparently, they are closed. Right? It's a lot of food stuff. You can find here fried chicken, my favorite. The burgers, they even have the seafood right in a in a basket or seafood in the bag. Yep, and the famous, I think it's the pork rib or something. It's also here, but now they are all gone, gone, totally gone, no more. here is totally not walkable you have to squeeze through every lane I think this is the one is this the one yeah this is the one that I have if I'm not wrong right like seafood in the bag it's gone no more Everything is closed. Okay, it's actually quite a huge market. Lots of people. This comes to life at night. Yeah, I think there's still one shop here that are still open. That is still open. Some small shops are still open apparently. This is a yeah. I think they only allow to take away. It's okay. really not too much over here. Okay, it's um beer garden around this area. So yeah, but you can see tables, you know, outside some live music. But now they are all closed. I don't know whether they are closed for good. I think apparently, yep, a lot of uh, businesses are closed for good because they are really unable to sustain.
some with all these chairs around I think maybe they might be coming back I'm not too sure garden there but you can just sit down a couple of beers snacks finger food chit chat it's not too noisy actually no yeah so much different so much changes since the last came okay. I think it was in probably what 20 17 18 when it first opened you can see a long queue outside actually back then waiting to come in because it's so full and so packed and stories are coming in by the buses it's outside queuing up to come in that's how busy it was back then Nothing is open. This is the uh, Esplanade Mall. And yep, we have the sanitizer. Okay, you can see myself, alright, 36.7. Okay. It's uh, relatively a huge mall. Okay. But also very quiet because it's actually near next to the uh, night market and if you are hot you know tired you can just come in to you know the some aircon still here yeah. still some shops I mean the shops are still open okay. tomorrow will be the last day they can actually open the shop So only essentials uh, are allowed to open. So banks are allowed to open, supermarket are allowed to open, pharmacy are allowed to open. So fashion stuff like this, no. Nope. Have to close for two weeks. So basically the malls are supposed to be closed. Hey Shenson. Beauty Buffet. Okay, so for the three brothers. Okay, 
เออจริงSo during the um, COVID restriction, they are still allowed to open banks, supermarket, but only until 8 p.m. And they can only resume operation at 4 a.m. Who will open at 4 a.m. Anyway, it's just a restriction. So. I beat. Yeah, like an Apple store. 
another event space. Yep. Banks as well. Some beauty clinic. Luggages. So yeah, just now I was hearing the conversation behind me and they're saying that tomorrow they have to keep everything. Level is two actually, so this level is three. So I'm heading towards level three, which is what I'm saying. Space for rent. So this is level three. Okay. Space for rent. Stationary shop. Kids will love this. Quite nice and also cheap in that. Office items, stationeries are here. Still open. There are lots of beauty cleaning over here. Level 3 and anything above, I think, is the cinema. They've actually blocked it. Cinema. And. Okay, I wanted to watch this. Dry on. But. Cinema has not been open or has not. are not allowed to be open since April. It's almost. Three months already. Oh. Okay, I don't think there's um really much things to see over here. Yeah, there's really nothing much here. And so we can actually go down to the basement. Thinking I could, I could like at least eat something, you know, at this at the night market. But no. Banks are actually open over the weekend and usually close at 5 pm. Watches. Okay, heading down. Singapore, Yakut, 
Singapore is Singapore Fine Apple Tart. You know how nice it is. Well, I love Fine Apple. Fine Apple Tart. But too sweet, so I don't really eat a lot. Probably during only <coughs> Chinese New Year. Okay, so this is the um, basement. Okay, basement has got more restaurants and food. And yeah, as mentioned, the dining in is not allowed. Um, you guys are actually taking order outside. Okay, yeah, I love this meal. Okay. Spicy cat. I don't know what's that. Okay, it's like some Chinese food. It's beside the uh, Thai Embassy. Oh no, sorry, not Thai Embassy. China Embassy, sorry. And probably there's quite quite a number of Chinese food over here. Sushi Express, my favorite in Singapore. Okay, not they are the nicest, but they are easy to eat. Just pick whatever you like and then eat it. Apparently, just all the food stuff are all here, but not everyone are open. Okay, it's one big round, go one round, and pay. Many food, everything is there. So, this guy. Not sure if they are closed for good or just closed temporary. Why connection? They serve cheese, right? And this is the yeah, the famous Pratunam chicken rice. Oh, I'm not sure why what is so nice. Mei Wei the Mian Piao. Mei Wei the Mian Piao. Chinese word. What Mian Piao is that? Y'all only see fun. Okay, this is a food court just beside me. Oh. Open or take away. And as you can see here. And yep, that's the car park and Daiso. So the Daiso, I think the cheapest is 60 baht. Still more than. $2 plus Alright, so more expensive than Singapore Singapore is $2 right? Cheapest And Yep, that's it And a top supermarket Okay So yeah, this is the mall And apparently yep, the um, Train, night market, mission, failed. Alright, it's not open. But at least you get to see this mall, well, which is nothing to shout about. Alright, generally, I think all the malls are quite the same. Everywhere you go, the shops are the same, the restaurants are the same. So, yep, just hope everything gets better after this. And then, yep, I will see you in my next Anyhow Walk or Anyhow Series. Anyhow Eat, Anyhow Ride, Anyhow Run. I'm just going in to the supermarket to anyhow grab something. See you.